NRG Energy, the power company that owns that property, discontinued the Aqua Farms lease on that site. I met with Thomas Graham, the owner of Aqua Farms, about the big change and what's next for him and the area. The process of packing up a lot of our equipment, our gear that we've been used for growing oysters and mussels for the last many decades. And most of that's being donated to other shellfish farmers and research scientists. Thomas Grimm is the CEO of the Carlsbad Aqua Farm, where they've grown oysters and other shellfish for decades. He says they're shifting their focus from shellfish farming to coastal habitat restoration, and the farm will officially close on August 15th. It, it's bittersweet uh, uh, to say goodbye as uh, doing what I've been doing, and I'll miss that part of my life. CBS 8 featured Tom and the Aqua Farm in an Earth 8 report in 2021. But now that they're closing, Tom will continue his efforts to save the world, or at least our coastline, with several other projects with the same love and respect for Mother Nature. Growing uh, shellfish is one of those most sustainable ways of creating seafood, and our, our approach isn't just how we grow it, it's that we distribute it locally. California, as an example, imports about 92, 93% of the seafood, which is strange for a state that's as coastal as we are. But the closing of a beloved landmark in Carlsbad won't go unnoticed. In a statement to CBS 8, NRG, the property owner says in part, quote, in recent years, the landscape of the property has changed rapidly. Among other things, the Encina power plant has now been removed. The ocean desalination plant is installing a new water intake structure, and the Encina site now hosts temporary fire station number seven for the city of Carlsbad. As part of this changing landscape, Cabrillo Power LLC provided the requisite notice that it is discontinuing Carlsbad Aqua Farms license to use the property. Tom says he's grateful for the time he's had to do something he loves so very much. Energy's got their own vision. They're working closely with uh, the city and with other planners as to what would be the highest best use of this amazing lagoon for the community and one that also has some economic benefit to the city as well. It's work Tom says he'll continue while looking ahead to what's next for the area. And that's why Carlsbad is such a special place for me because the culture here is made up of a lot of people who care about the environment. 